Hello, my fellow Navy enthusiasts. We're back again here on World of Warships Legends for a brand new campaign. That's right, just like the patch notes I said a couple of days ago, we're here with a brand new campaign for a Tier 7 Dutch cruiser. Doesn't sound too special. Except for one, it's a brand new line, and number two, it has a unique ability. Well, it's unique at the moment. It might not become so unique in the near future. Because uh, it'll probably rather A, get nerfed, or B, it might go to other countries that have that ability in real life. We never know. But anyway, let's see how it goes for this week. So as I said, brand new campaign. 100 stages, Sky Reapers from the Lowlands. You'll be able to get yourself the Tier 7 Dutch Cruiser, 7 de Prusivin. I'm probably still sacrificing this damn cruiser's name, but I don't care. Let's take a look at her loadout, and here you go. You can already see there's something new. So you have HE, AP, and then, of course, Aerial HE Bombs. That's right. You have the ability to call in your own aircraft fleet to drop HE bombs on opposing enemy ships. Now there's a squadron cooldown of 60 free, 65 seconds. You only have three chances to use this and there's 24 bombs in every shot. They have a maximum range of 12 kilometers, maximum damage of 5,800, armor piercing of up to 34 millimeters thick, 33% to chance to set a fire, and it takes 14 seconds to deliver the payload. And I'm assuming that's from launch to the bombs actually being sent over and then dropping and hitting, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Moving on, we still have got damage control party, unlimited. Two engine boosts, two AA defense boosts, or three of your repair party consumables. Now, I believe these two are going to be the ones that will be that you switch out. You'll either go for AA defense or you'll go for a engine boost. Um, due to it's a cruiser, engine boost might not be the best thing, so maybe the defensive AA will be your better shot. Again, her specs, she goes up to f almost 34,000 HP. Doesn't have that much armor, though. 13 to 100 millimeters thick of armor, and she only has a 19% damage reduction to torpedoes. When it comes to the aircraft that she gets, they have 2,000 HP, they travel at 200 knots, uh, they have six aircraft and a squadron, and you have six squadrons to use. Hmm. Okay. Uh, they'll get detected at 9 kilometers and take 65 seconds, as I said, with a 5,800 damage and 33% chance to set a fire. When it comes to her main guns, of 4 by 252 millimeter guns, they are quite not long range, as I've just seen. They're 15.6 kilometers, takes six and a half seconds to reload, over 20 seconds to do a 180 degree turn. And the main HE damage will be 2,150 with 11% chance to set a fire. And of course, the AP shells, 3,000. It's not really impressive, but I guess for a 27 cruiser, it's, it's pretty okay. When it comes to our defense mechanism for AA, you have got some decent fucking cannons, actually. Um, let me see. Your first cannon, it will be your 8x1 40mm guns, 218 damage a second, 3.5 kilometer range. When it comes to your 4x2 57mm cannons, they do 201 damage at 4 kilometer range. But the ones that will be doing the most amount of damage and probably the biggest amount of range will be your 4x2 152 millimeters. They only do 67 damage per second, however, they engage at 6 kilometers range. They will be your main defense pretty much. When it comes to maneuverability, she has 32 knots of speed, 730 meters for her turning radius, and a rotor shift time of 9.1. Concealment is 11.5. If you shoot the main guns, 15.6 and if you're on fire it's 13.5 however when it comes to aircraft spotting you they will see you at 6.9 if you shoot your guns 9.9 .9, and if you're on fire 9.9 .9. 
when you'll obviously be guaranteed to be detected every two kilometers and also you will be detected at 5.4 if you hide in a smoke screen and decide to shoot your guns at the same time let's see this is her armor layout and dear god she's uh Ooh, she's like most cruisers, pretty thin. That whole top layer is just screaming weak spot, though. Her deck armor is not that good. You might think, oh, but it goes up to like 28 millimeters thick. Yeah, that's true. But it doesn't look like it'll be that good. Hmm. Have a look at our overview. So she gets Pyromania, she does above average damage with setting fires. Full circle, main battery turrets can rotate the full 360 degrees. Ah, yes, that's right, that's her alert special ability. No need to do less, wait for them to turn left and right, crap, they do a full 360 degrees. And airstrike, can request automated air squadrons to drop projectiles at a designated area. Now... <clears throat> A little bit of information for us. The upgraded post-war project for Cruiser 7 to Prusivan. The cruiser started to look like a modern ship. Her superstructure and enlarged torpedo launchers and onboard hydroplanes removed the 2.2-inch or 57mm anti-aircraft artillery mounted and the number of main guns which occupied four twin mounts. Restored to the value specific Sorry, specific, eh, specified in the initial project. Sorry, English wasn't with me there. Between 1962 and 1964, terror missile launchers were installed on board the ship in place of her rear turrets, thus making her a missile cruiser. The ship was then sold in Peru in 1975, where she served until 1999. She entered service in 1953, and there was only two ships in her series. So we actually do get a cruiser that is legit. A full war-blown hero that served to just before the year 2000. Very nice, Wargaming. Very, very nice. Now, let's have a look at our missions for this week. If we were to take the top route... Oh, here we go. Thank you. If we were to take the top route, you have to kill five ships, five, 300,000 damage. That could be with torpedoes, main guns, fire, anything, it doesn't really matter. And then place in the top three, four times. However, if you don't want to get your kills, you will have to get 700 ribbons instead. This is applied in standard or inside of AI. Instead of 300,000 damage, you will go for 25 flood ribbons. And, of course, instead of the top three, you have to do the top four. However, it's 15 times. Now, if you want my advice, folks, on where to go, take the top road. Take the A-line all the way. That's going to be your best and safest bet. Goddamn. Now, is there anything special that we earn within this? We get some big spring crates. Um, doesn't appear to be anything. Hello, what are you? You are a D-Day collection crate. Yes, I forgot about those. Nice. We're able to earn ourselves some crates to uh, hopefully earn the brand new collection ship. Which is all the way down here. For D-Day, as you can see there in the bottom right, we get the tier free core bay from 1944. Let's have a closer look at her. This is a premium tier free battleship for France, so enjoy it and damn. Damn. That that looks cool. What's the writing on the side say? They fight to end conquest. They fight to liberate. Let's hide this UI here so we can get this better. At the time we don't know. It was D-Day, we just knew we had to, we had a job to do. It's even got D-Day written on the uh, smokestack there. That, that is pretty cool. I like this. And of course, got some scuff marks on her too. 
I believe it's got the same. Oh, it doesn't. It says something different. So they fight for the last conquest. And we have victory. Is that all that's written on this side? No, on the rear of the boat we have. Let's all, brother. All right. <laughs> Oh, that's a really nice camouflage. You know, Wargaming, well done. You have actually did very well with that. I like that. And, of course, we also have the fragmentation here. Oh, it even has Neptune written there in the front. I've never seen that until now. Just below the secondary guns, we have Neptune. But yes, we have the fragmentation camouflage essentially attached to this. So every kill this ship gets, it'll show it there on the number. So it shall be interesting to see. A few of these in the open ocean soon enough. Now, let's have a look at the store. Um, yeah, let's, let's go have a little look-see. See what there is here for this one. Ah, here we go. Sweet Jesus, Everyone's going to be here. So, we have <laughs> Hayate and Texas here as our first two ships. And then, of course, Echoes of the Past, we get four ships, so what is within this? I freaking knew it when I said it! It was the Tier 6 Belfast. I was wondering if it was going to be the Tier 6 or the Tier 7 Belfast, but I put my money on the 6 being the ship that they were doing. I was 100% right with that. But you get the Warspite, which is a pretty damn solid battleship for Tier 5. You get Belfast. Um, I'm not too sure about the Tier 6. The Tier 7 one's pretty damn good. Uh, we get the Blitzwicker. It's a cruiser, or it's a destroyer. I've never had the pleasure of sailing, so I don't know. And then, of course, we have the Arkansas, which at tier three is a good battleship, but there is a battleship hidden at tier three that's rare to find now. But whenever the arenas come around for tier three, or they have the ability to use tier three ships, oh boy, you see nothing but them ships. I can't remember its goddamn name, so that's more annoying. But we have the Warhammer stuff is in as well. You can buy yourself some eight of the Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Crates. You can also go for the Eternal side if you wanted to. Get eight of them as well. And then the Imperium side. And what comes with them? Oh, no. No, no, no. I've hit the wrong button. Oh, please don't take me to Internet Explorer. I accidentally hit the egg. Yeah. I accidentally hit the Internet Explorer button there, so apologies. It, that's annoying. Yeah, apparently we have a new coupon. A coupon that's on for time-limited offers. 20% off all Italian... Premium ships. And a golden coupon which gives you 3,750 extra golden doubloons when you buy a crate package of 2,750 or more. Nice. So let's have a look here inside the doubloons. Anything new? We still have these two. Mm, doesn't appear to be. That's a bit of a shame. We'll take our free crate. Thank you. A common bundle for camouflages. Or not camouflages, boosters, so I guess I'll take them. We have some big spring crate or er, summer big crates, apologies. Are you only buy one of them? Okay, well I guess what? I have ten thousand free XP so I get to buy even more. Haha. -ha. That's gonna cost me that ten thousand free XP. I was saving up for a ship. Ouch. But the Wichita is your ship of the week for inside your offals. If I remember correctly, this is a pretty solid tier 7 American cruiser as well. The problem is though, and most of the times you see these type of ships, they're normally rather hiding behind an island and just waiting for their team to do the work, or they sit so far out that they turn constantly making it a pain in your ass. Let's see, we have the D-Day side for the anniversary. Anything special hidden in here? Ooh, special commendation for two million silver. I'll take it. I'll take the offer, might as well. And 
what else did we have here at the end? I saw something else for 80,000 for camouflages and an extra spring crit. No, mm -mm. I'm stupid, but I'm not that stupid to spend 80,000 on that. Paul, I'm not doing that. 750 for the single Warhammer crates. I'm still not doing that because I need all the gold I can get. So whenever week free runs around for gold week, I can actually buy the damn ship. Nothing new within the commanders. Anything new within the crates? Anything? No, nothing new. Anything in this forge? I doubt it. I'm so close to getting dies. I'm like, what, two and a half thousand away almost? I will get her. She will be mine. Because I believe in this update, we have the ability to earn some steel. I didn't mean to do that. Apologies. Go to the ships. Um, if I remember correctly, it's like a USA ship. I highly doubt I'll see it in here. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually gonna gonna see it. God, that's how much they're... Right, so within the patch notes, they did say that they were going to let us have the ability to rent out the aircraft carriers this week. For the premium carriers, that is only. But 5 million silver. And you only get them for, is that two weeks rental? That you get these for? Yeah. You only get them for two weeks and then they're gone. That's it. You can't redeem it again for another 5 mil. Damn. That's, uh, that's quite insane. Hello. You weren't here before. When did Azuma come into the ability to buy for free XP? Oh, that's annoying, because that kind of ruins my plan. Because I wanted to buy a free XP ship for 750000 And dude, I already own Massachusetts, already have Benham. And we purchased the Atlanta a while back. No, I know what I wanted to buy. It wasn't a 750,000 free XP ship. It was a 2 million ship. I wanted to get Stalingrad. Damn. Oh, now what? Yes, I know about the cross-benefit program. I am thankfully registered. If you're not, go to Wargaming's website. There will be a separate article for it. You just link your Xbox or PlayStation account to your play, uh, PC side. And you can play... I um, can't remember how many matches it is that you must play before you receive the rewards. But unfortunately, if you, like me, you play on console side, you're earning for the PC rewards. Um, but... I don't have the ability to play PC side, so I cannot get my console rewards, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, I don't mind. We do get some rewards, but I can't remember what they are entirely. So, let's have a look at our fleet, see how we're doing, because I know my boys have been busy. Back up to 22,000 oil. Very, very nice. A couple of our guys are starting to... Uh, Fall back now. How are we coming out of nowhere? Damn. That's insane. Spores pulled away again. He's catching again, is he? Okay. Rotary's doing well. Lettuce is still having internet issues, so he's not being able to keep up with us, but he will eventually return. It's good to see over a thousands. It was really nice to see. Oh, we're starting to slip. Oh, we're really starting to slip. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Chalk, but you've been here for a month and you've only earned us. Jesus, blast waves even worse. Oh, sorry, you two, but I'm gonna have to get rid of you. You've been here for a month, for almost a month, and you haven't even earned over a hundred oil. That's bad. It's the same as Mac Damon. I'm gonna have to. No, actually, I'll, I'll keep him for now. He can stay. 
Um, nah, I'm not going to invite people because I've invited people before and they've just never joined. And yet they set themselves open for a fleet. Do you know what they're doing? They're trying to find a fleet that has pretty much almost everything done so they get better rewards. And I understand that. But there's a lot of fleets that won't take on a lot of new players until it's done. Let's see. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff. AI, Standard, Brawl, Fleet, Ranked, Arena. Prime time starts in one day for that. Let's see what we get inside of Brawl. I know how to play Brawl. Um, so, one win. The only thing major that you get is at the end of 16 wins, you get two of the Spring Crates. But that's all. Hmm. I think it's the Fleet Battles has the Steel Reward, so I'm going to have to see if I can try and get a group together to uh, possibly do that. Now, it said that my Bureau was finished with the stage it's at. Need a win in the Zara. Okay. I can do that. So we'll get our Zara win, and then we'll do our two tier six premiums, two tier five premiums. Get the crates for them. Hopefully, all goes well. Probably won't, because it's me. And I will admit, I haven't been playing this as much recently. I have been diving into other games and playing the hell out of them, uh, like War Thunder, Sea of Thieves. Been doing a bit of that. I got back into doing farming sim. Uh, by myself. I've been enjoying that, been going at my own pace, creating my farm, and it's been going pretty good. Now, I would say I'd do a, uh, a couple of streams on it, but in fairness, that's... Farming is a very dedicated group of people. And not everyone wants to jump online and watch someone just driving around in a tractor, plowing up a ground, or drilling, doing a bit of harvesting, or spraying some fert. You know, it's not for everyone, and I understand that. I mean, me and Lettuce, we did have a go at making the series of it, uh, but the numbers for me just weren't adding up, and he wasn't getting high numbers on his channel either, with his side of the videos. So we both just kind of packed that in. Um, in a way it kind of worked, because we weren't having to worry about the schedule, because at the time he was extremely, extremely busy with work, and he still is to this day. Um, he's working his ass off to pay off some things that he has a bit of money into. I'm not going to get into his financial details, because it's no one else's bloody business. But yeah, he's been working his ass off, doing his very best. And, you know, he's he's mainly getting into the PC side of the game, and that's fair. I don't mind. In fairness, if I had a PC, I would be all over Euro Truck. I absolutely love that type of stuff. That is my go-to type of thing to play. I love truck simulator games. Absolutely love them. And I'd love to do a bit of Euro Truck and just casually chill and screw around with some people. Unfortunately, we can't all get what we want, so. Benson, please die. Gotcha! Kick it! Ground control to Major Tom. Why are you setting a fucking smoke screen in my face? Damn, I actually did not think you would keep going, but you actually really did. You just completely fucked me. Never mind. Shiza. Nope, 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 
nope, nope, nope, nope. Leave me alone, battleship. I know you're there, Colorado. Believe me. My other torpedoes loaded. Oh, indeed they are. Use my sap rounds, get a few rounds out. Go on, DD, you got him. I mean, you beached it. Ah, uh, please don't citadel me to death. Not yet. Thank you. Take them. Hold on to them for a second. Mm, yeah, I'm not going to be loaded in time. Oh, this ain't good. Ah, well. Pizza, pasta, put it in the box. Hello, my dear. Let's give you some extra flooding to worry about. Damn it, she put it out. I was kind of hoping she wouldn't, but she did. Hopefully we'll maybe get Kieran in here soon. I don't know where he is. He's been very mysteriously quiet. Oh god, I have friends playing Fortnite. <laughs> Nothing more painful than that. It really isn't. Okay, well, hey, when that it's only three days a week? Okay. Join a fleet or create your own to access the fleet battles, unite in divisions, and rush into battle during the prime time to earn rewards and fleet resources. Prime time is every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. And there's our win that we needed to move on. Lovely. Which means now we need to go back to the bureau. Vinizi has a new section to do. We don't care who we put into it, because why should we? Oh, look at that. Went inside the Azura. Do I own Nakatsuki? No, I do not. I own the New Orleans, though. So, New Orleans, you'll have to go into it. And it's got to be tier 7 ships win as well. That's uh, kind of a bummer. Now, well, let's get back to it. I say that as I don't know what I'm doing now. We are after money. All right, we're going to be Mr. Krabs for a little bit. Take out the old Poltava. Just remember when this ship came in. It was such a questionable boat. Cause I can remember Lettuce was, uh, at the time, he was searching for a tier 6 because I don't know if anyone else will agree with me, but tier 6 is the weird, unpredictable tier of Legends. You don't know if it's going to be a good ship, you don't know if it's going to be a bad ship, and if you do know that, then you don't know if it's going to be a good map, good team, or what's going to happen. Because there's some decent powerhouse ships at tier 6. And then there's some weird ones that you just do not expect. For me, it's Indianapolis. Now, I absolutely fucking hate that cruiser, but it's done nothing but wonders for me. That's really scary. And Paul Toff is one of them, because when she came out... As I said, Lettuce was looking for his own ship at Tier 6, and Poltava happened to be one of the ships that caught his attention. So he did a little bit of research on the ship and found out that she had torpedoes. Now note, this is something we had no idea at the time, because we didn't realize that Wargaming brought in certain years and integrations of the ships that they introduce. That's why we have two Belfasts in the game. But I'll get on to that in just a second. So the Poltava that they brought in was the Poltava that Mike was not reading about. Or, sorry, Lettuce. 
well, you already know him as Mike anyway, but anyway, he read that the ship had torpedoes. They were based under the water, and that's how they got launched. So, him being him and wanted a brand new ship, a tier 6 that was more reliable, he went ahead and he bought the Poltava. Had a few matches in it, and he found out that it was a pretty good strong frontal ship. And then he was wondering where the hell the torpedoes are at. Because it said that they had them. So we looked. I even went back in and I looked around the ship myself because I was able to view it. And we both noticed it didn't have torpedoes. And we thought this was weird and Lettuce was going to send a ticket through to Wargaming and complain that, you know, the ship is meant to have torpedoes. That's what it's actual says in real life. But yet you don't have them in the game. So, I told them to not send a ticket because it's kind of pointless as Wargaming won't refund that. And yeah, it was true. They would never have refunded it. And when it came around to another ship getting introduced, which was the Belfast, uh, which was a cruiser that I was interested in. Not because of it being a decent tier 6 cruiser. But because where I'm from, my capital city is Belfast. And I thought, oh, I'll be kind of cool, you know, have my own country's capital ship in my harbor. And I did the same thing as what Lettuce did. I looked at her and I did a little research and lord and behold, hey, it's, it has torpedoes. I thought, oh, that's cool, I can get a torpedo cruiser at tier 6. Oh, speaking of. <laughs> so I did research, and as I said, you know, meant to have torpedoes, and thought, oh, that's awesome. But then I remembered Lettuce's problem. And I actually had a deeper look at the cruiser, and found out that she didn't have torpedoes as well. Because, as I said, Wargaming introduced certain years on lineups of the ships. Now the setup that I was looking for was Belfast's final form, where she has the torpedo tubes in her. Now Wargaming didn't actually introduce that ship for a long time, until magically, wabam, it came in as a campaign ship, and Rotary's like, hey look, they're doing the Belfast for the campaign. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I don't need to pay for it, not the full price, I'll just pay for the campaign price. And looked at the ship and realized, holy crap, it had torpedoes. So they introduced the right year of the ship that I wanted. But unfortunately, they didn't introduce the right year of Poltava for Lettuce, which really sucked. And I know he's still kind of annoyed at it, but it's not fully, you know, taking him off anymore. He's accepted it. I bet you still love a refund from Wargaming, though. Because I would, too. I'd be really annoyed at that. God damn it, game. I know about that, s that point being done. Thank you. Actually, where is the ship that surprises the hell out of me? Indianapolis. A surprise cruiser. Now, I believe Lettuce had one of these. I don't know if Lettuce still has his Indianapolis, actually. Because when he used to play it more often, and we were rolling out maybe two, three times a week at least uh, with each other on this game, I would blast up one line quicker than he could. So we used to switch accounts, and we used to test ships out that one player has and the other one doesn't. So he would have a blast in testing out a few of my ships, and I'd have a go at a few of his. And one ship that I tested out in his account back then was this, the Indianapolis. And he told me that to be careful with the ship because it doesn't have repair, uh, repair consumables, it doesn't have torpedoes, it only has the sonar, and that's it. That is your only real benefit of owning the Indianapolis is you have a passive radar that you can activate. I was like, yeah, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I'm, 
I've went up the Pensacola line. I'm used to cruisers not having a smokescreen and not having a repair kit because anyone that's played Pensacola's line know that you have to go through New Orleans. And New Orleans doesn't have a repair consumable or anything like that. It's actually worse than Indianapolis, believe it or not, in my books. Uh, because New Orleans can't really pack a punch with her guns, which is a bit sad. Not unless you're doing it onto another cruiser. And here we go. Get the feeling I'm going to get lit up more on the Christmas tree. Let's see how... See how well this goes. I shouldn't be picking on that. That's French and it has frontal armor, but still, I'm going to go for it anyway. I'm more concerned about that aiming at me. But that's turning. And here's one of the glory things about the Indianapolis, is I can happily look at a battleship and pull the trigger. And do some decent damage. Wow. Come on, Indianapolis. I'm trying to give you credit here, and you're letting me down. Why are you looking at me, Japan? All good now. See, good now. there's 10,000 out of her. I don't know any other cruiser that can really pick a fight with a higher tier ship and can happily slap the living hell out of it. Now, I'm probably gonna die to Pensacola, or not Pensacola, Helena. You're looking for that right spot, aren't you? And I'm unfortunately going to be giving you it. Or am I? Right, Lou. And you're looking at me as well. What the f... I just annoyed every battleship today? Stop looking at me, you frog eater. Oh, well, that took obsession. Ow! Oh, you're kidding me. There's a fucking aircraft carrier to deal with? It's not gonna be ours, not if I bloody die. That carrier's turning the other way, isn't he? Yep. Dirty, rotten, Japanese son of a gun. I mean, unfortunately, you're gonna beat you, Chikaku, so where are you going? You're not beating it. You clever girl. You slowed down the turn. Come on, shells. What the f type of damage is that? Am I tickling the fucking carrier? Citadel at Indianapolis, come on. I know you can citadel this. Come on, please release me. I hate you, you turned. Give it to me, I want Cornetto. Let it be me, come on. Oh, eat a baguette of, well, he's dead. Or not. Say P5, travel faster on HE. Yes, it does. We're not the best. We couldn't send a tell an aircraft carrier. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Watch that. 
Oh, Jesus. I've never struggled to Citadel a carrier before, but there it is. We've just proven that I can struggle. I forgot to activate my silver boost as well with that bat, uh, battle with the Indianapolis. So I'm not going to do it too well when it comes to the silver front. Thankfully, it's only 400 grand that we need to earn. But we are on a timer, folks. We only got maybe 30 minutes left, give or take. Because I got some stuff I need to do. So I'm hoping that these matches will uh, breeze by. Exactly what you're about to do, phone. You're gonna go. Because my Halo notification's about to go off. What the hell's that? Jesus, seriously? Black Ops 6 has already had its official teaser? Damn. Okay, let's see where we need to go. It's gonna be on the left. Oh, come on. Turn off. There we go. Ah. The Dunkirk Black. Nice little treat that we got ourselves out of the crate a while ago. Man is using his sixth sense. That's probably gonna not do much damage. Yeah. Oh, I hate that I knew I was right. Hello, dear Ayoba. Wow, you okay, fair enough, yeah. I'm um, probably the best thing you could shoot at right now. And you get a fire. Shit. Uh kill him. Kill him now. I'm not fucking playing around either, guys. That's a deep sea torpedo. That thing can kill me. Nuremberg, fuck your torpedoes. Fucking shoot the damn destroyer. Oh, if. I would facepalm you right now. But the fact that you just got ram killed by a destroyer that I asked you to shoot at a while ago is even more hilarious. Hello? Where the hell are those coming from? Okay, yeah, I wonder if I can get the other Normandy, though. Eh... Probably not, no. Oh, I fucking hate you, New Mexico. You were coming this way, that's why I turned this way. <sighs> Looks like I'm... Oh, no, Normandy's coming this way. Sweet. A duel with my own kind, yeah. Ah, 
Hi, Monty Coley. Now that's just upsetting. Why? You're gonna sit it on me. And in all fairness, I deserve it. I hope you aim for the New Mexico, Kamikaze. Damn, he is right on my ass. I wish I could throw each other a cold drink or a few beers over it. Okay, that's too many fires now. It's kind of getting annoying. About to put all guns on him, too. Hi. Nice little gun deletion. I'm hoping, and I am hoping, that that is all the money that we. No, it won't be all the money that we need. Crap. In fact, I know it's definitely not all the money that we need. Or it is. I'll be a mother's uncle. Monkey's uncle. Jesus. I even twisted that up and got it wrong. Nice, nice. One premium account. Okay. Dooby dooby doo doo. Alright, one more premium to play. Let's go for... I don't need to worry about getting money. Just happily do it this way. Why is that in my head? It's randomly Monsters Inc. pops in and says hello. Thankfully, no aircraft carriers to deal with. Action station! Action station! Can you hear that jet engine a little bit too low? Let's have a quick look and see what Rotary's doing. He is online. He's still on YouTube. Got an R boy in here. Drift. And there's the Jinx. No, I can't say that when it comes to ships. It's only War Funder that that exists for. Who the hell just did that? Is that you, Fizby? Did you just fire at me? You did. Yeah. 
ass. I'm sorry, I missed the chunk it. What is your problem? I may not love you enough when you were I uh, no, no, don't. We can we can be better than that. I mean we really can't, but I'm Try and take the uh, be nice and calm, be friendly. Don't you even goddamn think about it, you little destroyer. Get the f out of town. Hmm. Those are new. No. No touchy. Keep bloody turning that way. Nice, 9k out of you normally. Parlay. Dude, that's also a thing. You, if you know what your cruiser's secondary range is, always set your secondaries to target that ship. I know it sounds stupid, and uh, most of the times it doesn't work, but it can be extremely helpful when you need it to be. Oh, a marble head. Mr. Luti, or Luto, gets the kill. Very nice old chap. Well done. It would say a good show, but I would honestly be lying. Now up to the dangerous stuff. Legends. I know there's people out there with more ships than me, but still, getting through 280 goddamn ships is really annoying. But of course, we'll have our fun with the Vermont. Let's use the different loads. We'll uh, open up our crates as well. I actually forgot about them till now. So we should have a couple of uh, crates to open. I guarantee you we won't get anything. Because my luck with crates, especially after the last earn event, which was the new Japanese cruiser line, I didn't get anything. Like, no, sorry, that's a lie. I did get something. I got the tier 4, the very base average cruiser to get. And I earned it. No one's more disappointed in that fact than what I am. Come on, game, just load the Vermont. Live. I want to open up my crates. Why is my port this again? Like, I know we lost our Roman port. 
um, due to this update, we no longer have that nice Roman SPQR port. But I really enjoyed that port, so... Oh. Kind of sucks. I wonder if I could change it. Hang on, let me see. If I go to settings... Port. Yeah, they actually took it away, but they've kept the frozen tundra of London. They haven't even changed that around yet. Jeez. Um, I will just take the open ocean. Oh, hold the change. Thank you. That's better. We'll just have the plain old open ocean. I have no idea where the sun is. Well, there's our cargo ship. And there's Vermont. Okay. Great time. We shall open up our free common crates. Okay, some free XP back. That's good. I mean, I spent 10,000 of it, so I'd like to try and earn some of that back. Okay, 1,200 of it back. That's pretty respectable. Thank you. 20,000 steel. Now on to the ones that will fail me. The big summer crates. Okay, free XP. Fine. So fine. It's weird to think of it because I actually earned. I think it was Indianapolis via one of these crates a long uh, a while ago. I think Indianapolis was the last ship I actually earned out of one of these crates. So it's been a hot minute, and no, we're not lucky enough. That sucks. Oh well. Let's see what we can do. How are we set for time? Ooh, might be able to squeeze in two matches if I'm lucky, folks. Depends on how quickly they go. Because uh, I'm not going to lie, I, I do need to go to the bathroom. I, I didn't need the urge when I started this, but now I do. So, um, hopefully... These matches won't be too painful. And it's always worth your time as well. Doing the steel that you earn from, I believe it's tier 8 premiums and the legends. It's not much. Granted, it's what? 150 steel a week. And it really is a bad number. Like 150, what's that going to get me? True. It won't get you much. But for how long it is, the gap between the arena, the rank stuff, the brawls, the fleet battles, you know, the gap between them is quite big. And yes, you do have the end of the campaigns as well. They will net you the benefit of getting even more. But you're not going to buy every campaign. You're not going to be here to be able to do every fleet, arena, ranked, brawl. At least with the tier 8 premiums and the legends. You have 7 days to complete them. You know, it's not the worst in the world. 7 days is very doable for a lot of people, even if you get just one day off a week. You, know, you can still easily go in and blast out 5 matches inside legend. You don't need to be inside public lobbies. You can do what I'm doing and blast them out in AI. Or it's way more fun. Because yes, you get people that are stupid and don't realize how to play their ship and instantly die. But you do get to see some unbelievable BS play. I'm hoping I can sink you, Brisbane. Brisbane. 
I would indeed be correct with that statement. Now look at this Yamato. Emperor. <laughs> What's the chances that the Evo and Subaru are sitting side by side? How <laughs> did just realize what his name was? Oh, well played, sir. Well played. But if he's not careful, he's gonna get a whole world of pain. I mean, I'm the same. I need to watch out for these two over here. But at the same time, uh, this end's more important because it's, what, two Ohio's and a Montana? That's way more dangerous. Hopefully the Impreza realizes as well. Are you actually gonna... Well, Preza, he's up to you, because he unfortunately turned a direction I didn't want him to turn. Oh, like hell, you made that turn. Get the fuck out! No. That's my Subaru doing. He's doing good. Doing really good, actually. He gets the first Ohio. Let's see if I could follow up and cripple the second one. And not really full cripple mode because he's turning. He's playing a risky game. If that Ohio catches him right, he's out. There goes my Stalingrad. Not dying to my one. Yes, and he bounced to Montana. Go on. I mean, I would say Team Japan for the win, but I'm not in a Japanese ship. I'm in a American ship. Are you two gonna ram? Yep. There's gonna be a collision. Oh, there's not. And the game just about saves them. Ah, I do love that. And we got a. I'm assuming this is a commander, right? Yep. Okay, it's the Italian commander. You know what? Let's give it a try. Let's see what it's like with a new carrier setup. Where apparently we no longer overheat our engines, we have way more bombs, but less damage. Torpedoes didn't get touched, thankfully. Um, the only thing that worries me, though, is with the German carriers. The damage might have been reduced, but you've gave them more bombs, which means their AP bombs are multiplied. Meaning they can citadel more efficiently now. Why am I complaining, actually? That might be the, probably the best way to get up the damn line, then. Because, strangely enough, it's the German line that I cannot seem to get past right now. Russian line's taking its time. Oh, look at that. We have fuel. Oh my god, that fuel goes down quick. Look at how quick it goes down. Wow, that is insane.
Oh, why am I going to attack a Russian? For the fun. Mostly for the money. For the fun. Hi, enemy carrier. I still have planes. Holy crap, I still have planes. Alright, armor up, buttercups, we're going on again. And that's it, they're returning. They have no more fuel. <laughs> I like this. There's no more wep. Like, how do you need to pull off the power before you cook the engines? You just starve your engines of fuel. I like this. This is better. And you two are gonna fucking ram. That's a hit or miss on the Yamoto. It's a hit with all three. Nice. I thought the Ibuki died. How is this thing still alive? I wouldn't mind, team, but me carrier, me get fucking spotted. Oh, hello, Russia. Enjoy the fire. I'll just send them home. They only have 10 kilometers of fuel left, but still, it's not worth their time staying out there. Damn, the fucking Yamoto though would nearly get to full HP. I need intelligence data, cause I'm thick as shit and apparently can't read a fucking map. I'll curse you to hell and back. I love the unrealism of that. I'm really flying a V though. Like an arrow in a way. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Holy F and I don't believe I'll be able to do much. Uh, Gerfers, this is on you, my man. This is never gonna go well. And 
and I instantly lost them. Okay. My planes are still in the area, keeping them highlighted long enough. Go first, come on. No way Johan can reach him. Shimakaze needs his torpedoes to kill him. You and possibly the other girl first are my only options. Oh, you were kidding me with harassment, aren't you? Get the fuck out of here. Leave my team alone. Please turn me in time. Oh, never mind. I got him. Sweet. Didn't expect to get the car. Thought the girl first, but I got him. Nice little 85k damage. It's not impressive for a carrier, but can't really do much else with them either. However, though, folks, regrettably, due to the new time system that I'm having to manage, that will be all for today. Um, I'll continue these the rest of the week. Hopefully knock them out, finish them off, and keep going through the weeks with everyone else at the same time. And what is this? I didn't see this, and I should have. How much is that? 70% discount on a ship. For what tier? You have to win 60 battles, though. Holy sh... Okay. Uh, Blades of the Bay. Do 75,000 damage with the Jervis, the Blitzvika, the Hayati, and the Somers. Or... Okay, that's better. Get two to 12 to fang capture or assist captures and destroyers. Get 10 detection ribbons and destroyers. And cause 10 floods and destroyers. However, there is country restrictions with them. I didn't notice that till there. So this is how you get the D-Day crates. Right, I was confused in how you did it because I saw them inside of the campaign, but I never knew where else they would be. Oh, well, I can do them instantly. Oh, maybe not, because they're inside of me. You want me to set 15 fires in my Belfast? Get the f*** out of here. 50,000 damage or 250,000 damage in any British cruiser. Hawkins or any British cruiser. Okay. 250 main battery hits. You doubled it up for that. I hate you, but I love you at the same time. Guns of Normandy. He's using the Ark in Arkansas or any American battleship. See, these are all in standard. You cannot do these inside of AI. Wait, I thought you could with the... Hang on, I'm sorry. The blades... Oh no, you can't do that inside of AI with the, uh, the destroyers. All of these have to be done inside of standard matches. Well, that's cool. No easy way out for anyone. What the f... 100 ribbons inside Nevada, which is the tier 4 battleship. I'm pretty sure a lot of people already have that. But just in case we haven't got that ship... Anything in America, you have to get 300 hits in. Wow, you're punishing people. Kill two people in Texas, or five people in American battleships. Interesting, the worst bites here with 75 main battery hits, or 150 main battery hits with any British battleship. Five citadels with Nelson. I don't own Nelson, so that means I must hit ten citadels with British battleships. Holy crap. 
And the Silver Sentinel is to do 100,000 damage in Nevada. Oh, these are for the Nevada Camouflage to get her D-Day Camo. Sweet. I didn't notice that. I'm so glad I checked. Well, there you go, folks. There's your extra missions to do. What the hell? Flea makes me gym. Oh. And this is how you get everything else. Interesting. Fleet Battles 101. Or actually 102, sorry. Not 101. But, there we go. That's where everything's heading. Sorry I didn't see that at the beginning of the video. But anyway, everyone. That will be it. Hopefully I'll meet you in the seas. You never know. I might be fighting you. With a bit of luck. But until then, folks, thank you all for tuning in and joining. And I will catch you all within the next stream tomorrow, which is with me and Rotary, as we go back to try and finish off Gears of War 3. If we can. But until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.